okay this is the uh, third part of my lecture of chest x-ray uh, for the radiologists and uh, students of the radiology and imaging here you see the blue arrows the rotating blue arrows they are showing the hilum on both sides in this image you can see the left hilum appears to be a bit higher than the left hilum than the right hilum so we have to keep in mind the left hilum is a bit higher than the right hilum which is a normal status so if we find any kind of elevation of the hilums then we can consider volume loss due to any kind of pathology another point is both hilums have to have same density because they have they have got the same number of vessels and so the density will be same in x-ray if there is any variation of the density on any side then we have to consider that there may be any hilar mass or lymph node or any kind of abnormality and another one is hilar angle the hilar angle is the angle formed by main pulmonary vessels that goes upwards and downwards the angle between the vessels that goes upwards and downwards between these uh, main pulmonary vessels uh, the angle formed is called hilar angle this is also pathological in if the angle is widened and the next uh, slide shows and the hilar structures in lateral lateral view here you see the pulmonary trunk the blue arrow on the image the pulmonary trunk this is very wide or the caliber is larger you can say and then the right upper lobe bronchus then the left upper lobe bronchus as this is the lateral view so all both bronchus from both sides will be visualized here and the next one is left pulmonary artery and the final one the largest one is the aortic arch lying above all these are all the hilar structures uh, located centrally in lateral chest x-ray lateral view in this image we can see the diameter of the pulmo main pulmonary vessels this is also very important because in case of pulmonary hypertension long term pulmonary hypertension the diameter of the main pulmonary vessel is increased and we have to measure this diameter just 1 cm distal to the edge of the hilar angle and if the diameter is more than 16 mm in case of male and 15 mm in case of female then we have to consider that the uh, patient has got pulmonary hypertension if it is if the diameter is more than this normal measurement and end on vessels sometimes may be visualized as a rounded lesion mimicking a rounded lesion which is not actually which is not actually a pulmonary and the, uh, this image shows this image shows the various lung segments which is very important and the various uh, the lung segments will be discussed in animated form on my later this image shows a respiratory unit uh, which is very known to the students of medicine but as a radiologist we also have to know the respiratory units because you know in case of congenital uh, congestive cardiac failure all or in mitral valvular diseases there are carlis lines and carlis lines we have to differ either it is a fibrotic band or it is a carly carlis line so uh, knowing the pathology uh, to know the pathology of the respiratory units is also very important that i will discuss later lectures and this is basically the common lymph nodes uh if the lymph nodes become enlarged we will get paratracheal widening as well as hilar prominence uh on any side 
you see the uh, general lymph nodes usually lying here are the paratracheal nodes, tracheobronchial nodes, carinal nodes and the bronchopod. And this image shows the siloti sign. Siloti sign is very important, very very important because uh, without doing CT scan, without giving higher X-ray ex exposure to the patient, we can uh, uh, we can diagnose the uh, siloti sign. We can we can say that the mass is originated from the lung, or the mass is originated uh, from the hilum, or even the mass is originated from which segment of the lung. This is very uh, interesting <laughs> but what is a shiloti sign if if there is a sign uh, lesion adjacent to the heart and if the heart border can be seen through the lesion then we can say that the shiloti sign is present but not positive okay but if you can see you cannot see the heart border if you cannot see the heart border by the lesion then we will say that Shiloti sign is present and if the cardiac border is seen through the lesion we will say the cardiac Shiloti is present. Cardiac Shiloti means the margin of the heart but Shiloti sign means obscuration of the margin of the heart. So this arrow is showing the heart border is clearly seen through the lesion but in, the, in this image the heart border the right heart border is not clearly seen. In this image the heart border is clearly seen through the image and another point is Shiloti sign in, signifies uh, we can save uh, the, lash, uh, the specific location of the lesion from the uh, Shiloti sign, sign technique. If this area indicated with a blue arrow is not well visualized then we can say that the lesion is from the <clears throat> anterior segment of the right upper lobe. If we cannot see this area we can say that the lesion is from the right middle lobe. If we cannot see this area clearly adjacent to the aortic knuckle then we can say the lesion is from the Epicoposterior segment of the left upper lobe. If we cannot see this area, we can say that the lingular segment has got some lesion or consolidation. And if we cannot see any of these areas on either side, then we can say that the basal segment on, on either side or both sides are affected. So you see the Shiloti sign is very important and vertebral translucency is another important thing where you have to consider that either the x-ray is optimally exposed or not. In case of vertebral translucency sign, we can detect that normally the lower vertebral bodies, dorsal vertebral bodies should be clearly visualized in a lateral x-ray of the chest and it will be gradually abolished or gradually vanished when we will go upwards. But if the vertebral translucency becomes obliterated before this normal pattern then we will say that there may be any type of and the last one is companion shadow you see the clavicles here the clavicles here and also the ribs on the left image there appears another parallel faint shadow of the clavicles or the ribs this is not due to motion of the patient sometimes in x-rays this kind of shadows creates a double shadow or double density but this is nothing but a companion shadow we should not consider this one as a pathological pathology or abnormality this is the blue arrow showing the company